Hello everyone. This is Niveta D, Assistant Professor, Department of Food Technology, working in Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology. In this lecture, we are going to see about pasteurization of packed foods. Pasteurization is nothing but a method of heat treatment. Uh, it is a thermal processing method. This method is used to inactivate the enzymes uh, present in the food and also it will kill the heat sensitive microorganisms. So through this, uh, we can extend the shelf life of the food product and uh, when stored at 4 degrees Celsius. This can be applied to all range of food products, especially liquid foods such as milk or bottled fruit juices. This will extend their shelf life to several months. Also, this will cause only minimal changes to the food as only mild heat treatment is involved. There are different categories of pasteurization like in package pasteurization and uh, prior to packing pasteurization. The method of pasteurization involved are two types like LTST and HTST which is nothing but low temperature short time and high temperature short time. Um, certain temperatures are considered safe for some food products like carbonated juices can be pasteurized at 65 degrees Celsius. Non-carbonated juices can be pasteurized at 80 degrees Celsius. High acid foods, uh, we have to use only less pasteurization time as this may cause deterioration to the foods which are involved under pasteurization since it is a thermal treatment. So in package pasteurization is nothing but the one which involves uh, treatment of foods inside the package and uh, we do not require any sterility level for heating in this type of packaging or pasteurization. Pasteurization prior to packaging is nothing but preheating if required in certain foods which are sensitive to temperature, high temperature gradients, uh, such products can be treated prior to packaging. Low temperature short time is also known as batch pasteurization which is carried out in steam jacket or kettle. Uh, the temperature range is 62.8 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Whereas the high temperature short time which is also known as a continuous pasteurization which is carried for about 15 seconds but whereas the difference in uh, low, between low temperature and high temperature or the temperature is 71.7 degrees Celsius uh, and but it is uh, carried out only for a short duration of 15 seconds only. Here in this high temperature short time there are different types of heat exchangers are used to uh, this heat exchangers are used based on the different product viscosity and also uh, water or steam is used as a heating medium. In container pasteurization uses uh, for example glass containers. Hot water processing is used to reduce the damage due to thermal shock and it is cooled for 40 degrees Celsius to evaporate the surface water. This will result in minimal external corrosion because of evaporation of surface water. This process must be carried out. In batch process the packaged foods are heated in a warm uh, water bath which is set at a preset temperature and then held for a length of time whichever is required. And then cold water is then pumped over the cooled product. In continuous process a long trap is fitted with a conveyor belt to carry containers through heating and cooling stages. This process can be applied for juices and liquid products such as alcoholic beverages. Water bath pasteurization is another simplest method for heating or pasteurizing acidic foods at high 100 degrees Celsius or below uh, and it is also used for meat products. So the water bath is nothing but a container or rectangular steel tank uh, which is of diameter 1 meter. The products which are packed in the retort crates are immersed in this water bath. So this heating and cooling process will take place inside this tank or water bath. 
Continuous water bath pasteurizers also proceed uh, an incline into the tank and uh, this incline when they come out of the tank which is not suitable for glass containers. So due to this, this water bath pasteurization is not used for glass containers. The products which are suitable for water bath pasteurization are apple sauce and pickles. Continuous steam or water spray pasteurization is also one another method used for foods which are already packed. So this in this uh, the bottles and the cans are conveyed through the pasteurization by walking beam or conveyor belt. So there are six different temperature zones which are uh, followed uh, in this continuous steam or water spray pasteurizer. The first zone is the preheat zone, first preheat, second preheat, pasteurizing zone, followed by pre-cooling, cooling and final cooling zone. So this uh, six different temperature zones will prevent them from thermal shocks and uh, this will uh, also prevent the glass containers from thermal shocks if we do not exceed the temperature above 40 degrees Celsius. Inside this uh, continuous steam or water spray pasteurizer, there is a cloth baffle uh, which is hung between the each section and uh, this is uh, done in order to hold the steam in the pasteurizer against strong air currents. But sometimes this cloth baffles will not function adequately, so it must be taken care that uh, any uh, strong air currents are prevented such that the packaging material is not affected during pasteurization. The another method for impact pasteurization is tunnel pasteurization where hot water sprays are used to heat the containers as they pass through the different heating zones of the tunnel and cold waters are sprayed through tunnels for cooling uh, during the later heating zones. This advantages of faster heating, shorter res residence time and smaller equipment size makes uh, tunnel pasteurization more convenient for packaged foods. And it also saves energy and water uh, while we can use the hot water and cold water for recirculation and this saves the water from wasting. So the temperatures in the heating zones are usually gradually increased by reducing the amount of air in the steam air mixtures and the cooling takes place using water sprays or by immersion in a water bath. These are the references which are used for this topic. Hope this lecture will be useful. Thank you.